Welcome back to the channel. Just got a situation here that I get a lot of questions about. So I thought I would throw a quick video together and explain to you one of the ways you can do this. I'll show you the situation I got here. This is a Wayne Scott unit that I have kind of just in there. I pocket hold it all together. So I've got this thing loosely in there and I've got it shimmed up so it matches that green line, level line right there that I'm shooting from this laser right here. Once I'm perfectly level, I have stud locations marked and I can just shoot this thing in. But behind this unit, I have my 3 16 masonite and that's to eliminate the texture that was there. Cause normally we got this kind of orange peel texture and we don't want that on our woodwork or MDF work, I guess is what we should be calling it. So what I have done is taken a thin strip of MDF and cut it at 46 degrees, only leaving 3 16 left on it. If I can get this to focus, sorry about that. And with that, I can now place that here and it will cap off this end right here. So you can see how that finishes nicely and I'll see a glue that in there. Now, not only that, I'll bring my chair rail, wrap it around this little corner and just dead end it into here. And I've made some marks here, just ignore those. That was when I was laying it out. But my chair rail will end on the flush part of this wall and it won't mess with this bull nose. So after the installation, this is what you end up with. You can see my paneling back there. It's 3 16 masonite and it stops short of the miter. So that way you don't have to sit there and fight it if it's not totally plumb. And it doesn't really need to be either way because it's all hidden by the unit itself. And then the miter piece, the return is what we call this, that caps it off is exactly 3 16 so it matches the paneling so whatever you're using eighth inch 3 16 quarter inch just adjust for that you would adjust this return piece and then um, i cut this miter at 46 just to close it up really tight in the front but that's basically it i failed to mention in the beginning that the top rail which is this piece right here the style below it and the bottom rail are all cut at 46 as well so you would definitely need to take that into your measurements and make sure that you take that into account. So you can see I have my chair rail wrapped around that corner now. And you're probably wondering what I'm gonna do about this, all this exposed area. Well, I'm using doorstop when I do it this way. And doorstop is exactly what it sounds like. It's the thing inside the door jam that stops the door from swinging all the way through to the other side. And then I just cut a small return for that and that'll get glued right there. And it'll line up like that. So let me show you what door stop is real quick, just for an example. We'll just go right over here and any of these doors are gonna have it. It's this piece right here. It's flat on one side and then it's rounded over on the other side. The flat side goes against the door and the rounded over side goes on the opposite side. Now the way I do it with my cap, I put this flat side against the wall and the round over out. And the good thing about this door stop using it as a cap, it looks like it's part of the chair rail that I'm using and it's gonna hide both of these seams. So when I put this on, you can see it hides all that. And it kind of acts like a scribe molding because I can push it to the wall. See how it has that play, it's such a thin trim piece. And it gets me a real tight fit against the wall. 
you can see there it looks like it's part of this big chair rail and it makes for a good finishing piece. That's how I end Wayne Scott on a corner where you don't want to keep it going and make it look like a finished edge. Now for the base down there, we're going to be wrapping that five and a quarter base that you see throughout the home. We're going to be turning this corner and we're going to go the rest of the way. I think it's a nice finished look. To me, it almost looks like a piece of furniture, especially when we prime and paint it. It just looks like a nice finished edge. So. That's going to do it for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.